Right, we want to take a look at the youth mental health crisis statewide. Many families say they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Our Amir Makeupson joins us now with another example of the ongoing struggle many families are facing in finding adequate mental health care in Michigan. She has been following this story for months. Now this one is interesting. An Okemos father could be facing jail time if he refuses to pick up his child from a mental health facility. But the twist here that's confusing the Smith family is the legal relationship that the father has to that child. I mean, I feel like it's kind of a weird thing, but it feels like a witch hunt. Tammy Smith and her husband Robert are in a frustrating situation in Shiawassee County. Very frustrating as a person who just wants to get my daughter taken care of and give her the help that she needs. The problem, according to the couple, is that Robert's daughter is in a mental health crisis. She needs some mental health care. The Smiths say that the violent outbursts have landed the child in various temporary placement facilities, but the outcome remains the same. She has several interviews with placements, and every time they come back rejected because of her violent offenses. Every place they've put her, she's been violent. Um, she was in a foster home and she tried to take the foster mom's baby out of her arms to harm her, things like that. Every, this is Teresa, this is in Mark. Yeah, um, Washtenaw County, she was in there and she took a chair to somebody and I fully believe she's capable of doing it. I mean, it just takes the right situation. The solution Robert says he was given by the state. We want you to try to find placement through your insurance carrier because I have insurance and they're, all they can use for the state is Medicaid. And so they're limited and I'm calling centers and I'm doing all this stuff. Robert says he's been on the phone for hours a day, but to no avail because of yet another major hurdle in front of him. I'm expending all these resources, which I'm more than willing to do because it's my daughter. I take ownership of that, but I'm not the custodial parent. Robert does not have custody of the child. He says the child's mother maintained full custody until recently, but right now the child is a ward of the state. I'm not the one who has any say. When you talk to somebody on the phone, they're like, oh, well, you know, I really can't tell you very much because you're not the one who's in custody because the state actually has custody of, of my daughter right now. But I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, and like door shut, door shut, door shut, door shut. And they got a court that says, you're not, you're not trying to help your daughter. You're guilty of neglect. How do you square those two <laughs> with each other? If Robert is unable to find placement and refuses to take the child home with him, he could be charged with abuse and neglect and face jail time. I feel like I'm under attack, and rightfully so. This court is not only treating me like the problem, they're saying I'm the solution. <laughs> right. To take her into my home, and then I'm gonna wave a magic wand, and I'm not gonna hurt anybody, she's not gonna do any violent offenses, but I'm the problem with the abuse and neglect, but I'm also the solution. How do you square that? I reached out to Shiawassee County Court about the Smith's case and heard back from the presiding judge, Thomas Dignan. I asked him about Robert's claims that he's been unable to enter a plea in the case against him and cannot access medical and court documents pertaining to the child. He said in part that any parent can surrender their parental rights as long as they haven't committed any abuse. If one parent has chosen to do that and the other has not, the remaining parent has the child or children placed with him or her. A parent cannot choose not to be a primary parent and be free from the duties of the Department of Health and Human Services. Any parent subject to a petition can plea at any time. A parent is entitled to medical and court records, but may have to file a court order due to HIPAA. He went on to say the well-known reality is that resources for mental health, especially juvenile mental health, are lacking statewide. I sent a follow-up message noting the discrepancy between what the judge explained in comparison to what the Smiths say they're experiencing, but I did not receive a response. I think what you got is you got a group of people who probably when they first started their job was like, I'm going to go out and change the system, I'm going to help these wonderful kids, and then they're just so frustrated that the goalpost doesn't ever move because of the system is broken, and they're like, I'm going to start, I have to find somebody to blame, so they're going after the parents. It's an easy thing to do but it's not the right thing to do. Custody. Don't have custody. And um, I, I'm, I'm just a person with visitation and, and pretty much paying my child support. And I'm trying to be an active participant in this. Um, you know, getting up out of my chair, going to try to find these records, and then I get stonewalled at every turn. None of this is helping. Right. She's sitting in the center, waiting for to be to some kind of progress yeah. to give her the help that she needs. And I, I'm fighting them with one hand. I'm trying to get her help with the other hand. Sorry. 
I just want to get her the help that she needs no matter what it takes. And I've got to fight them off. And I can't give them her my 100% resources that she needs.